Over the years, students in the shop class at Prairie City Monroe High School have made everything from grandfather clocks to poker tables. But they've also completed several projects benefiting the local veteran community. They're working on another this year and the students wouldn't have it any other way. In the noisiest of classrooms, focus might be the most important skill to hone on safety, precision, and my first project I made for my mom. Purpose. It's nice to give back. Senior Lucas Ludwig is right at home. I get work with my hands. That's my favorite part about it. His focus now on a different project with family in mind. My grandpa was in the Army. Uh, my cousin is in the Air National Guard. But they won't receive these. I am cutting 45 degree angles so we can line these up to make the actual box of the urn. Other veterans who have spent decades waiting will. My grandpa was in World War II and my father-in-law and my wife's grandpa were both in the Air Force. Service is also important to PCM shop teacher Tim Crowder. Proud his students feel the same. They came to us and asked about making the urns. We brought it to the class and we voted on it. So we, we asked and it was 100% yes, let's do it. Haven't had very many issues. Students like Junior Tate Tangeman. His grandpa was in the Navy. What do you think he would think of you guys, if you'd been involved in this project? Uh, he thought pretty highly of it. He was pretty proud. Tate, Lucas, and another classmate all. These wooden urns, they're for the final salute. The nonprofit gives veterans and some of their spouses whose cremated remains have gone unclaimed in central Iowa for decades a proper send off. The shop class has done so many different projects for veterans in the past. I have a neighbor, Butch, who every year when he gets what the class has made comes off and shows it off. And I thought, you know, they already have such a deep passion for veterans. Maybe they would be willing to help us with this. Finding the supplies, just like getting the students on board, also fell right into place. Everybody just wants to help. My dad served in the Navy and he passed in 03 and it just it means a lot to me. Bob Coffey owns his own construction company and helped get the wood donated after Strovers approached the American Legion Riders Post in Polk City. So I called two of my friends that have mills and one of them said, yeah, come get whatever you want. Right now, the plan is to make as many as 40. The men and women who are getting these urns, I think deserve them. They do. And thanks to these students for making it happen. And Ludwig, one of the students we just heard from, says he's planning to join the Air National Guard after high school, so his service will continue. To find out more about the fundraising event the Final Salute is hosting this weekend, head to our website, kcci.com. The actual service will take place in late September.